Melba Jo Lee is not only my wife, but she's also a master musician. God has gifted her as a singer. She also administrates the entire music department at the Church on the Rock. She receives no money for that. She does it because I tell her to. I take that back. I better take it back. She does it because I asked her if she felt led. And she has felt led. And I want to give honor today where honor is due, and that is to my own wife. I want you to let Melva Jo know you appreciate her today. I believe it's right. And I'm going to ask her to come and to sing the Lord's Prayer. Melva, God bless you as you sing it. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's all give the Lord praise. We praise you, our God. Did you notice the crescendo at the end of the great Lord's Prayer? The crescendo, for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, amen. You notice how it all seemed to build to that point. The great prayer that Jesus gave us when he said, when you pray, do it my way. Businessmen in this, in this congregation today understand when they go to an employee and say, I want it done my way. I want you to follow this outline. I want you to do it according to this pattern. Jesus, who said, I must be about my father's business, said to his followers, do it this way. 
And in that beautiful prayer found in the sixth chapter of the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9 and following, you see perfect symmetry. That is, you see first the focus on God. Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. God's first. His kingdom is first. His purpose is first. But then you note that God is interested in you. So many say, don't bother about me. God just wants me interested in Him. Well, that is true, but that is not true at the same time. He does want you interested in Him first, but He's also interested in your need. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and then all these other things would be added to you. And for that...